Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to make my first entry in my brand new prayer journal. Um, in the last couple of videos I showed how I made it. Um, if I remember, I'll put them in the end link so you can start following that. If you want to just grab a composition book and make a prayer journal, that's fine too, whatever you want. So I'm literally going to go, um, not this first page here, I am going to cover up the May, even though that's my birth month. I think I will cover that up with something, but I thought the picture was very pretty. This came from a calendar. So you see what happens when you use a calendar. One side's going to be right side up, and then one side's going to be upside down so we're going to have to deal with that but anyway let me just t tell you what I'm going to be journaling about today Colossians 3.22 um, and it talks about um, whatever you do work as if to the Lord and not as to as and not as for men so whatever you are doing in your life you should be doing it for the Lord and good enough for him not for mere man. So the co the context of context of this was he's talking about to bond servants and slaves that they should be working for the Lord and not just for their masters. And um, it's important that everything that we do as Christians, we work for the Lord, even if no one is watching, that we do our best always. Um, giving time, giving of our time is important. And I'll just share this real quick. A person in the, my small group, my church small group, was doing an event this past weekend. And um, he had was looking for people to bake cookies for him to take to this event. And I have a very busy schedule right now. I'm getting ready for, trying to get ready for my my craft shows and stuff coming up this fall but the lord just put on my heart to do it you know to make the cookies so i made toll house original toll house cookies from scratch which takes a while i think it makes like 60 cookies or something but and, and then bagging them up and all of that but i still was able to get done everything that i had on my plan for that day anyway and i drove them over to him the day of the event and everything and I believe I was the only one who even made cookies. So I'm so blessed that I did that. I, it was a blessing to him, but I feel blessed that the Lord put it on my heart to do it, to take time out of my calendar to do it, and I'm glad that I did. Um, we should trust in the Lord when we work. You know, sometimes, like just now, I finished cleaning both two of the two upstairs bathrooms in my house. And I don't want to do it. I hate doing it. Nobody really loves, well, some people like to clean. I'm not one of them. Anyway, you know, I always pray for the Lord to give me strength to do it and to do it well, you know. So um, he does, you know, it gets done before I know it. And then I'm really happy because I love a clean house. And also, you know, when you do a good job as a Christian, you're glorifying him because people are looking at you um, as a Chris Christian. If you go to work and you just do a, a half-baked job at everything and you're rushing to get everything done and whatever, that's not a good reflection on our Father. So, you know, you want to remember that too. Okay, so I'm going to be journaling about that. My prayer is going to be on this side here, this blank side. And then I've got this upside down calendar page to deal with here. So I have a piece of wrapping paper and it's kind of black, uh, uh, sorry, gray and white marbly looking. And I thought I was going to put this over here on this side. And um, I, this, in a way, I think this journal is going to resemble my other journal, my the one that I just did the flip through. Um, but in a way, it won't. I, I really love the journal I just uh, finished. So, you know, I love some of the elements about it. But there are going to be some new things I'm doing with this one um, that I didn't do in the last one. So, okay, so I'm just going to cover this up here. Now, I'm, I don't care if it's all completely covered. You can still see some of the date up here. No problem, because if you know my prayer journals, you know that I am going to put some strips around them for some added colors and um, so I picked out some papers here and I think I'm just going to put some strips down but these strips right here even this one which is probably like maybe just an inch and a half I think that is too um, 
too wide. So I'm going to just trim it down a little bit. I've got this little paper here with the acorns and what else, a little pine and some little flowers. So we'll do a little bit of that one. And then I've got one here that looks like a little bit of wood, like um, brown wood. So we'll do a little bit of, I might, my cutter is just getting stuck and I'm not sure why, I'm gonna have to look into that. Okay, so we got that one, that one. And then I've got this one here. Well, these small ones, I don't need the cutter that can actually use scissors for that. Okay, so let me put my cutter away. All right, so let me just go ahead and get some strips down real quick. This strip here is actually a piece of old ledger paper. And let's see, let's just go across the whole top here and cut it off here ish I guess that's about where it should go yeah and you know I can always go back and trim which I always did with the other one too a lot of times I would just go right over the edges and then go back and trim them so uh, yeah so I could do that with this one too so I'm just going to go ahead and now I'm using this glue instead of my wet glue I could probably use glue stick but um, I don't want to buckle the pages you know I don't want the pages to buckle and you know how that happens sometimes when you use wet glue so now let me go ahead and stick a piece down here at the bottom do I have the nice numbers yes I like to have all kinds of elements showing through um, I think that's what just what makes this journal so these prayer journals so great now I can't cover up too much on this page I gotta leave room for my prayer but I do like to put the little borders on. So I'm gonna put that one there with the numbers. All right, so now let's go ahead and add a little bit of uh, color here. I've got this little red border here. Let me go ahead and cut this in half because I think this is a little bit too thick uh, for me, you know. So I'm going to, oh, it's got a cute blue pattern on the other side, I didn't even know that. But I'm gonna use this one, the red one. And well, yeah, I'm going to use the red one because I just put glue all over it, right? I really don't have a choice. Now, the other, my also my other prayer journal, as you know, um, I had the juicy edges on them, and I'm not doing them on this one. Um, and there's a reason why, so um, you'll see that reason shortly. Then this piece of paper here, it's like old, it's like old vintage doily, uh, like really grungy yellowy old vintage doily I forget which pad this came from but it's such a cool pad it's got the coolest textured things and it's got a lot of the the pages that have old yellowed kind of doilies and it's just so cool I love it all right I'm just going to put this piece over here like this on this side like that and let's get one of these red pieces here and I'm not going to use even though this side with the blue and orange woodwork for what I'm doing I'm going to stick with the the little red side like I did on the other page I like that little bit little bit, bit of balance from page to page so I'm just doing this here you know I should probably should have a paper underneath there but I'm living on the edge people okay all right so that's that I have this tiny little piece of paper here that I obviously punched a little butterfly out of, so I think I'm gonna just cut this and use this. I don't wanna mess up the little butterfly, so let's use him and put him on somewhere. Let's put him, if I do that, he's gonna be half. If I do that, he's flying sideways. So let me go ahead and put him down here on the bottom. Can you see that? Maybe not. I can't tell here. There. Now I think now you can see it. Yeah, I'm putting him down there. All right. So then let me, just a couple more pieces here. I've got this one that has some yellow on it. Again, it's a little bit too fat, so I'm going to cut this in here. Now I do have, if you've watched my old prayer journal videos, you know that I have the box with all the um, Christian stuff in it and the and this the little pencil holder where I keep all my strips of paper that I that I edge those pages with the reason I am not using that one is um, because I'm tired of those papers honestly so um, 
Now I made that a little bit too long here and I'm covering up my little butterfly so I'll just have to cut it. Um, I I'm, I'm, was getting a little bit tired of those papers. I will use them. I'll come back to them at some point and use them in another journal. But since this is my new journal, I wanted to go ahead and start all new again. So I'm just gonna cover that tiny little gap that we had up here with that yellow piece. See, I mean, see, this is all I'm doing. I'm just kind of making the pages a little bit more interesting on the edges. And then we're going to um, work on the images, the, the focal points, okay? So remember, we're talking about doing all things, do it as if to the Lord and not towards men. Um, and that, you know, another thing about that is we're not supposed to look for our own glory. When we work and we work hard, we're supposed to work and work hard. There, there, we shouldn't be getting a reward for that. That's expected of us, you know? Um, and, and I'm, I'm guilty of a lot of times myself, you know, I'll be out and about and, you know, maybe doing some thrifting or stuff, which is my actual job since I'm an antique dealer. But, you know, I'll be like, if I have a really hard day or something, I'm like, oh, I'm going to stop and get myself a coffee because I deserve it, you know, because I worked hard. Well, I'm supposed to work hard. I shouldn't be getting a reward for that, you know. Not not every time I say, oh, well, I worked hard, you know. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have some rewards, you know, but plan for them and budget them and everything. Don't just, you know make excuses and whatever. All right, so now I have this this little piece of, this is vellum, and I, I hope you can see it's got little dots on it. I think they're blue, and I, I kinda wanted to use a little of this vellum, but I may not put it on right now, but I'm gonna cut a little strip anyway, okay? All right, so the images that I wanted to use were these. Now these were taken from a Beatrix Potter book. And yes, I did cut up a Beatrix Potter book. Um, and it's about, you know, working as to the Lord and not to men. Well, here's a picture of Peter Rabbit's mother and she's cooking. And here's another picture of her cooking over the hot, uh, the hot fireplace. And here's a picture of the bunnies eating, okay? So two of the things that I need to really focus uh, my attention for the Lord is um, cooking and eating. So that's why I particularly picked these, these uh, images. And I'll give you a quick why. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with cooking. When my son was little and he was still at home, I cooked everything from scratch, and I, and I still do cook everything from scratch, but I mean everything. I mean, he, I made muffins, pancakes, you know, biscuits, everything. The freezer was always full of them, so every morning he could have a hot breakfast. Um, I really wanted to make sure he eat, eats healthy, you know, and, and my husband and I eat healthy and whatever. So when he went to school... I told my husband, I said, for the rest of our life, we're just going to have cold cereal <laughs> for dinner because I was tired of cooking. Well, no, that, you know, that, that obviously didn't happen. But, um, but um, I need to do better with cooking because my husband does like to cook, but um, we should be cooking about 50-50. And I think right now, honestly, it's about 50-75 or I mean 25-75. 2575 and I give him he he has trouble knowing what to cook like what should we cook coming up with ideas and I'm good at that I can tell him oh well you know how about this and he'll cook it but um I um I really need to be doing a little bit more I think all right so I put I put the pictures on you can see like this and I think I'm going to put these little mushrooms down here isn't that cute this is kind of like, you know, she's, um, um, and maybe I'll put that there. Um, she's working, you know, and, and but she's so cute. So we, we need to keep with cute. And my tra prayer journals tend to be on the cute side. I just, I, it just makes me happy. So um, that's the way God wired me. So that's, I'm going with that. Okay, look, and this little, I cut this out of the... Um, thing here and it says busy cooking and I'm gonna put that right here with her at this hot the hot uh, um, fireplace there busy cooking 
So I have this other sticker here that says the fruits of the spirit. And I wondered if I should put that there. But I don't know if the colors actually go. Because I was thinking, you know, the fruits of the spirit, you know, we should work on those too. Um, let me let me go ahead and put this mushroom sticker down because I do like it down at the bottom. And I have other stickers I can put down. Uh, let's put it all the way down at the bottom. I don't like everything to be lined up. So since this is here, I'm putting the mushrooms just a little bit lower because I don't like everything lined up in a row. Okay, now this little piece here, I kind of like this, this piece right here. It's a tad long, so let me just cut a teeny tiny bit off of that and see how that fits. Okay, that fits really good. Now, the thing with vellum is a lot of times it will show. So what you can do, if you're so inclined, is this too wide? That is a little bit wide. I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going through my stuff here. I think I'm gonna stick it on just with a piece of, piece or two of double-sided tape. I think it shows a little bit less than glue, um, but anyway, so we're gonna do it this way and try get this on here. Oops, I might be out of frame. I'm really concentrating trying to get this on straight. Okay, sorry about that if I was out of frame. I, I can't look up and check. Okay, so there's, oops, there's my vellum on that. Now it's sticking over a tiny little bit and that's gonna be sticky. It's gonna stick my page together, so. I have to just cut that off where I've gone over the side because I don't want to stick my book shut. Okay. I didn't have it on straight. Okay, I think that that should be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and take this off and put my little piece of vellum down here. Oops. I don't know. Does anybody know? Does Miss does the Cottontail's mother have a name? I'll have to look that up and see if she does. I love Beatrix Potter, and if you've ever seen the movie Miss Potter, um, what is her name? Who's in that? Oh my goodness, Renee Zellweger plays um, Beatrix Potter. It is a lovely movie and it is it is there's no pornography, there's no swearing, there's no nothing. It is just a, a really nice movie. So you could watch that with your family, you know, it's it's certainly family friendly. Alright, so I'm just gonna put that there like that. And what else do I have? Now I have these little cutouts here from my master board. I did a collaboration where we were using a master board and I want to make a tab and stick these on like this uh, on this, the edge of the page like that. So let me go ahead and do that. So I have to think what I have to do. This bottom one, oh, both of them need to be covered completely with glue, Helen. Okay. All right. So let me just go ahead and do this. Okay. And with all my art, whether it's this journal or I'm getting ready to work in my art journal, my magazine journal where I'm using my own art, I'll be doing a video of that again soon. Um, I always res <laughs> reserve the right to go back and add more off camera when I'm, you know, playing around with them or I pull it out again and it might be like, oh, let me just add that to that. And I do that a lot. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this on here, just like a little, what are these called? Tabs, right? Is that a tab? I think it's a tab, right? Okay. Okay, oops, I have to be careful. This wet glue, it will move for a bit, so I don't wanna keep futzing with that because I'm keep moving it. I want it absolutely, since it's the same punch, I can have it absolutely line up perfectly. Okay, stop touching it, Helen. Okay, so there we are like that. All right, so we've got this so far. Remember, this is where my prayer is going to be. And I will write the reference Colossians. Uh, what did I, what is Colossians 3, 23 and 24, I think. I'll write that here. But let me just focus on this page a little bit more. I do still have a little, another little piece of this I could put down. Um, 
yeah, maybe maybe we'll put a little bit of this down and just at a different angle here. Now this one, I'm probably going to need this wider tape, but this might actually even be too wide. So let me see if I can cut it. Let's see here. I need to work with a smaller piece. This is really sticky, let me tell you. This is good tape. I don't, it doesn't say what brand it is on the inside, but before I put it on, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. It. Oh, I think, yeah, you could glue some bricks to each other with this stuff. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, let's try this. Oh, it's way too long, too, but that's okay. Okay. Oh, and I put this on and I have a crease in it. Oh, Helen. Can we do this without? Yeah, okay. All right, there we go. All right. All to get some vellum down, right? Okay, so there we go. But it's cute, and I, I think for some reason this little dotted reminds me of their mom working hard. Okay. Okay, so now I have that. Now, I do have some other elements I could add quickly. Okay, let me get that very toxic glue away from my candle there, lest I blow myself up. I have this box here, and this is all little elements that I've made, like cluster. These clusters here are all the clusters. These are the ones I did with that collaboration with Louisa Heinzel and Pam from the Paper Outpost where we did it blindfolded. These are those ones, I can tell. So, But I have all kinds of different little embellishments I've made over the, the years, and some of these I have videos for. And so I've got like some little cute things I could add, I think, just to add some life to this page on this side. Um, so let me, I'm just going to sort through here real quick. I like this one a lot. It is a little big, but we will leave it out because I could trim it down. But I also have some little clusters back here. And I have these little labels that I made myself. Um... And some, maybe one of those would go cute, too. So, all right, let's not pick out too much because then I'll get overwhelmed. I'm just going to pick out these things here. I don't want to cut this down. I like this little guy the way he is, this little one, so I'm not going to use him. I think what I'm going to do is maybe use a label, one of my little labels. But I don't... I don't want it to... Yeah, I like that. Okay, like that. These two, maybe. Or should I use the little one? Or should I do it that way? Like that. No, I think the way I had it before, that way. I'm going that way. And then I have an idea. So let me go ahead and put that away and get these down. And I do have a video, if you search somewhere, I do have a video when I made these these labels, um, but it's super easy and fun. It's actually, it's something I want to do again um, because it's nice to have an assortment of these little labels. Now you can buy downloads. Lots of people have downloads with labels, um, but if you make them yourself like this, it's a great way to get rid of some of that little scrap paper. All right, so I'm just gonna put that one there like that. And then this guy, this guy's on a cardstock, so he's a little stockier. But with this glue, it will be fine. So put this one on. Like this. Like, maybe like that up there. Okay. You see that? Okay, so I've got those there. And you see this one, I kind of did stay with the color theme a little bit here. I've got more, more the blues, like I took from the pictures here, the blues and the yellows and the black and the brown. So I kind of stuck with those colors there. Now I have these here and I've got these stickers here. These are all kind of like nature-y themed stickers and stuff that I got online. And I'm wondering 
if I just put a nature sticker kind of covering two of them like that or something like that um, or a big one or I do you know I've got those mushrooms down there I could put another mushroom up here maybe something like that and put that mushroom there that would be cute I like that see it's spanning both of those mushrooms but I also feel maybe something should go up here and so I'm just looking for something small Oh, you know what? I might switch that mushroom out for the, if this one's big enough. Let me see. Is that one big enough? Because it's got the spots. No, we'll go with that one. We're going to stick with that one. What if I... Oops. He's stuck. I can't pick him up. I was thinking maybe putting like a fern or something up here. But that one is so big and honking. I, I wanted to see if there's a smaller one maybe somewhere in here. This package of stickers that I bought was all ferns, I think, ferns, flowers, and mushrooms. There's a little mushroom I could put up there instead of that honking big fern. But I really want a fern. Why do I want a fern? I don't know. Or I have some flowers here, but these might be too big. Let me see. Is that too big, that thing? Yeah, that's that's way too big, Helen. So it is either a fern. It is going to be a fern. I don't want to over-mushroom it because if I have mushrooms there, there, and there, that's too many mushrooms. We are going to go with the fern. So I'm going to do that. So let me just put that little box there. Let's go with that and that then. Okay, so let me see if I can get this off. This kind, this one right here is like a little, one of those washi tape ones. It's the very thin paper. It is actually like washi tape, I think. Okay, I'm having trouble getting that. Excuse my reach. I have to get my pokey tool and just loosen up one end here. If you just push, sometimes you can get it to... There we go. Get it to move a little bit. There we go. All right, so this guy is going between the two like this. Like that. I like that. And then this guy is going up there. And he's also one of these washi tape ones. This one was not. This was just, you know, one of these white stickers. Those are easy to get off usually. So let me just pull that. There we go. All right. So let's put this guy, I want him to kind of go between a little bit up over that ledger paper to tie those two pieces together a little bit, like that. Now, the only other thing I want to do, oh, if you're new to my channel and if you haven't seen me work on my prayer journal, I do not um, write the prayer on camera. Um, I do that in my quiet time in the morning. Tomorrow I will do that. And I, it's just... A personal thing. I don't mind if anyone reads them afterwards. It's just when I'm writing it, I just need, I need uh, uh, quiet. Now I do have this here, and I'm not sure if I want to actually cover it with something at this time. Let me just take a quick peek in here again, real quick, um, and see. But I think if I do anything from here, it's going to be... Oh, wait. No, that's a part of a cluster. I can't use that. Okay, I'll tell you what. One more little thing. I'm going to reach over behind the camera here and get this little pouch out. This has got a whole bunch of little, what, focal points and what have you in here. Um, so I will see if there's anything little in here. I don't, I think these are kind of all too big for what I want. What's this one? Oh, now this, this is a piece of, of, um, paper that I have. This guy right here, oh, look, this is stuck to my scissors, this double-sided tape. This little stamp here, if I cut him out, let me use my, I've got to remember to put my, pinking shears on here. These are the deckled edge ones, so it doesn't really look like a stamp, but it will pass for a stamp. 
but I need to put my other ones because I was using these the other day instead of my pinky, the small pinky ones that make it look like a stamp. Okay, so I think I might just glue that there. <coughs> oh, excuse me, right there, like that. All right, let's do that. Because, you know, more is more. And I don't even have my stickers and everything out here. Oh, wait, I do have my stickers here. I do have some, I have... Oh, I have some stuff that I did pull out. I for completely forgot I had. I have these stickers here, but I think what I have left here is all really too big. I think these, what's left here is very, very big, so I'm going to put those aside. But you know what I do have? Good. I'm, this is perfect. This is kind of bothering me here where we've got, like, this is a straight line, this is a straight line. So I have this thing that I've had forever, and apparently I bought it for 25 cents. A good 25 cents well spent. Where's the opening? Oh, it's already open at the top. So what this is, it's like a cutout, but it's, or punch outs, but they're stripped and they look like buttons, different kind of buttons. So um, this little piece right here might be perfect. Look at that right there. And that kind of breaks up that perfect, look. That that's serendipity. So you have to say thank you, Lord. That that was that was a gift right there. I didn't have to angst over which buttons to use, how big to make it. It's just done for you, done and done. So I'm gonna put that there. And to me, buttons means work. You know, you fix clothing or sew clothing, and I'm sure Mrs. Bunny did that. Uh, okay. Okay, guys, I think for right now, anyway, for this video, this is what I'm going to be doing. This is it right here. Um, is it? But wait, <laughs> maybe not. There's some space right here. And the other thing I had, I know you guys, you're probably saying, come on, Helen, get on with it. I have these gold, this is quick, these gold little words here. And I thought that... Um, a good word for this would be to surrender. We do all things to the Lord as if to the Lord and not towards men. Oh, look, trusting fell off too. Well, that's another big word, so we're going to use two words. We're going to use surrender and we're going to use trusting because both of those words are um, showing that we do trust the Lord and we surrender to his plan for our life. So I'm putting surrender down here by this mushroom here and trusting seems to want to go up there so that's where we're going to put it now they are these are stickers but I don't I, I want to glue them I don't trust the uh, glue on these as you see it fell off the sheet so it's probably going to fall off my page too so we're just going to put trusting right up here like that what is that noise? Oh, it's, oh, okay, good. I have to end this video. They're getting ready. The gardeners are getting ready to mow outside, and it will be really loud. All right, that's it. I'm leaving it like that. So I hope you like this. I hope that you start a prayer journal. I just find it really helpful to get some thoughts out when I write versus when I actually pray. Um, but, you know, if you wanted to put your favorite quotes or, you know, just write scripture on there, you could do that, you know, whatever. So this is the beginning, the first page of my new prayer journal, and I hope you're going to join me and um, whenever I do other pages in it. So, I, guys, I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. So many people are watching my videos. Take one second and hit that thumbs up for me, please. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And until the next video, I hope you're all truly blessed. Bye-bye.